Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to reshape a data frame from wide to long format in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to use some example data and we can create this example data with uh, lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio. And we can also have a look at this data frame by double clicking on this data object and then you will see that a new window appears which is showing our original data frame in wide format. So the data frame contains four columns, an ID column one, an ID column two and uh, two columns with values X and Y. Now, if we want to reshape this data frame into long format, then we have uh, multiple alternatives. So in the first example, I want to show you how to reshape data based on the reshape to package. And uh, this is uh, what I'm showing you here in lines 8 to 11 of the code. So first, in order to use the functions of the reshape to package, we need to install and load the reshape to package. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it um, with line 9 of the code. And then after running these two lines of code, uh, we can apply the melt function of the reshape2 package. And within the melt function, we simply need to specify the name of our wide data frame. So in this case, we called our example data data wide. And then we need to specify um, the column names of the columns uh, that we want to use for the reshaping of the data. So in this case our two ID columns are called ID1 and ID2. So that's why we need to specify this here. And uh, if you run these two lines of code then you will see that a new data frame appears at the top right in RStudio which is called data long one. And we can also have a look at this data frame by double clicking on the data frame object. And then you will see that now a new window appears which is showing our data frame in long format. Yeah, so this is basically how to reshape a data frame from wide to long format based on the reshape2 package. However, I want to show you a second alternative because many people prefer to work based on the tidyverse packages such as tidyr. And uh, for that reason, I want to show you an example which is reshaping uh, our data frame from wide to long format based on the tidyr package. So again, if we want to use the functions of the tidyr package, we need to install and load the package as you can see here in lines 14 and 15 of the code. I have installed this package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 15. And then afterwards we can use the tidyr functions uh, such as the gather function. And um, if we want to reshape our data from wide to long format with the tidyr package, then we need to specify our um, the name of our data frame, of our wide data frame. So again, this is data wide. Then we need to apply the pipe operator. And then we can specify within the gather function the name of the column in which we want to show our variable names. So in this case, we call this column variable. Then we need to specify the column in which we want to show our values. So in this case, we call this column value. And then we also need to specify the two ID columns um, based on which we want to reshape our data. So if you run these two lines of code, you will see that another data object appears at the top right in RStudio, which is called data long two. And if you double click on this data, you will see that uh, the output uh, data frame is exactly the same output data frame as in example one which was based on the reshape2 package, but this time we created our long data um, with the tidyr package of the tidyverse. Yeah, so this is basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want to learn more 
about the reshaping of data frames from wide to long format in the R programming language, then you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of this video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future whenever I'm releasing new videos to the channel. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.